Hello friends, see you again with me Supercar. In this video I will review the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV. Watch the video until it's finished so you know what is being upgraded to the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV. Continue to support the Supercar channel by giving likes, comments, subscribing, and tapping the bell so that you get other latest car videos. What's new for the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV? The Silverado EV will be a new product in the Chevrolet lineup and is expected to debut as a 2024 model and go on sale sometime in 2023. 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV RST First Edition The latest in a growing number of all-electric pickups makes big promises, but after a quick walk, it's hard to say if it will ship just yet. The face of the Silverado EV has been sculpted to direct air down the sides of the body for greater aerodynamic efficiency. GM designers used this opportunity to adopt the fashionable full-width LED lighting look. It's much sleeker, but with the availability of 24-inch wheels, one could argue that the electric truck is more about looking good than being good. An eventual Trail Boss variant will help change that perception, but the Silverado 1500 Limited starts with 17s and only goes as far as 22s on the high country trim. This combustion-powered vehicle is also differentiated by its more butch, rugged appearance that features boomerang-style headlights. But enough about the way these trucks look. The average pickup buyer is more interested in practicality. So how do the beds compare? The Silverado EV is only available as a crew cab and only comes with a 5-foot, 11-inch bed. If the Multiflex mid-gate is paired with the Multiflex tailgate, the available length you have reaches 10 feet, 10 inches. The regular Silverado can also be optionally paired with the mid-gate, but various cabs and beds are on offer, with a choice of 5.8-foot, 6.6-foot, and 8.1-foot beds. For the so-called lifestyle buyer, the EV seems just as good as the traditional truck, but those who want the ultimate in workhorse capability will be much better served by the version that comes with an exhaust system. From the outside, the Silverado EV looks massive. Dimensionally, it's not that different from a Silverado 1500 and certainly smaller than a Silverado Heavy Duty, but things like the aerodynamic buttresses behind the cab and the RST First Edition's gigantic 24-inch wheels give it an imposing presence. The front styling is less imposing, looking more like Volkswagen's ID.4 electric SUV, particularly with the lighting element across the nose. After seeing the Silverado EV, I drove a 2022 Silverado 1500 Limited Lieutenant Trail Boss, and the EV's lower cowl should improve forward visibility relative to the internal combustion Silverado because things like cars and people can disappear under the gas Silverado's nose when they get close to the grill of that behemoth. They're really impressed with the electric pickup truck, though we'll have to wait at least a year before GM starts shipping it. Chevy Silverado EV will be one of the names in a long list of electric vehicles built specifically with GM's new Ultium architecture. In fact, this truck shares the same base as the GMC Hummer EV, although we can also expect a GMC Sierra EV in the future. To compete with competitors, such as the F-150 Lightning and Tesla Cybertruck, it was imperative for GM to produce an electric pickup that could be used for long distances as well as highly capable. The Silverado EV has impressive total specs, with a charging range of 400 miles, 643 kilometers, and 664 horsepower. The Silverado EV follows the F-150 Lightning in that it looks like a traditional pickup with some futuristic features. 
This model reminds them of the Chevrolet Bolt EV mated to a truck. It's also hard not to notice a bit of the Chevrolet Avalanche's design on this truck. As expected, the Silverado EV is spacious, accommodating and very capable. The interior is modern, packed with technological features, and classy. The Silverado EVWT work truck will be priced starting at around US$40,000, RP 570.7 million, which is equivalent to the F-150 Lightning and Cybertruck. Meanwhile, the Silverado EVRST first edition with the highest features will be priced at more than US$100,000, RP 1.4 billion. After the production and launch of the WT and RST, Chevy will offer the complete line of Silverado EVs at various prices, ranging from around 50,000 to 80,000 US dollars. Interior, comfort, and cargo, we were able to get a peek inside the loaded RST model and were impressed with what we saw. That truck featured a fixed glass roof, black and white two-tone leather upholstery with red piping, and about the same passenger space as a regular Silverado crew cab pickup truck. Rather than a console-mounted shifter, Chevrolet's designers have opted for a column-mounted stock, which creates space for a massive storage bin between the dashboard and middle armrest. Infotainment and connectivity, all models will come with a mostly digital dashboard, with both an 11.0-inch infotainment touchscreen and an 8.0-inch digital gauge display coming as standard. Upgrading to the top-level RST unlocks an even larger 17.0-inch infotainment screen and an 11.0-inch gauge display. Both systems are reconfigurable to the driver's preferences but, thankfully, Climate controls remain simple analog knobs mounted in a slim panel on the lower part of the dashboard for easy access. Chevrolet hasn't released all the information yet for the Silverado EVS infotainment system, but we expect Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to be standard, within Dash Navigation, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot also being part of the package. The return of the mid-gate pass-through, which allows cargo to stretch from the bed into the passenger compartment, think the earlier Chevrolet Avalanche, is likely to help, though I'm concerned about the durability of the rear window that seems almost destined to shatter, whether hit by a large piece of cargo or hit by bad luck somewhere in the process of moving and storing. Traditional storage seems impressive enough, however, with the nearly 6 feet bed providing a sizable choice along with the frunk which has an easy loading height under the hood. Safety and driver assistance features Chevrolet hasn't disclosed information on all of the Silverado EV's standard driver assistance features, but we're told the brand's hands-free Super Cruise system will be offered, at least on the high-end RST trim. Key safety features are likely to include standard automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, available lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, available adaptive cruise control with semi-autonomous driving mode, 